So search network ads will be visible on SERP page. Am I right? People will search for your ads with keywords. Keyword is the major part here. You should target based on keywords. Already we have done keyword analysis for SEO. Do you remember? And at that time, we used to have only three columns. Keyword, average monthly search and competition. Only three columns we used to take. But now for Google ads, search ads, we will take two more columns. What are they? I'll explain you. Just observe. I'm going to Google Ads. <clears throat> Where do you have keyword planner? <laughs> Okay, tools and settings. Under tools and settings, you have something called planning. And under planning, you will have keyword planner. So we will get into keyword planner and we will enter our keywords. What keywords? Brainstorming keywords and Google suggested keywords, not randomly anything. Just now, for example, I'm using some keywords, but we will not do like that. We have to do proper keyword analysis process. So let me add few keywords. How many keywords I gave? I gave one and it is giving me 1800. I'm downloading it now. This is just for example, okay? Just to show you how to sort the sheet now. I'm putting it on the desktop. So this is the report I got. Let me delete this section. This is just the headings, not necessary. No need of this empty columns. And here you will have just brands that's all, not required for us. No need of currency because it is common for everything. Three month change and year on year change. This is also not required, but for your understanding, let me explain. This is keyword, right? Now, if you see for this keyword in this three months, what is the change that has happened? There is 0% change. That means three months before or now. There is no change in the keyword performance. Or one year back or today. There is no change. This is year on year change. And this is three month change. Can you see something here? 90% less. Google digital unlocked certificate. This search was there in the past. But now there is 90% reduction. People are not searching for this keyword anymore. And within one year also it is 90% less. See, for some keyword, there is 900% growth. Coursera Digital Marketing. Get inside, Venkat. Digital marketing classes have got 900% growth in search. So this is the observation. Three-month changes and year-on-year -year changes. This is also not required for us now. This is only for your knowledge. So I'm deleting this too as well. We already know we will keep this. Three, keyword, average monthly search and competition and we used to delete rest of things. This competition index is not required. These two are important now. Let me tell you what these are. These are the two things that I'm adding now along with the three major sections. Before I start explaining about it, let me sort the sheet. What is the major thing that you need to concentrate while sorting? Average monthly search must be high, right? So select the sheet, sort, custom sort, data has headers, sort by average monthly search, largest to smallest. Done. Let us say I have got digital marketing course, digital marketing course online, fundamentals of digital marketing. Okay. Free we can never give.
probably let us say my client asked me to work for 10 keywords on the top whatever are the top 10 keywords i'm working for them let me delete rest of the things if there is unknown it means the search is very very less and it is can't it can't be measured zero search terms are there. so i have got some 10 keywords 10 or 11 keywords are there now if you see can you see some numbers here 44.37 188.43 what is this for this keyword digital marketing course some company has spent 44 rupees 37 paise some company has spent the keyword price cpc price as 44 rupees 37 paise and for the same keyword another company has spent 188 rupees 0.43 so that is the highest price and this is the lowest price. The price that you are seeing here, the low range, is the least price of these keywords. Okay. And these are the highest prices of these keywords. Now if I take Google Digital Marketing Certification, what is the least price? 28.1. And what is the highest price for this keyword? 155.52. Right? The same keyword someone is getting for least price, someone is getting for highest price by right? quality score. score. Alright, now if I am starting the campaign today, as I told you, initially I will not have quality score. Initially CTR will not be there. So my CTR has to improve for that first my ad should come onto the first page. And for that I should bid highest amount. If my ad should work for all these keywords, I need to bid an amount which is higher than all this. What is the highest value here? 273.06. If my bidding amount is 275, then my ad works for all the keywords. All right. Let us say I keep my bidding price, my cost of click as 200. For which keywords my ad will not work? Online marketing course, learn digital marketing, best digital marketing course, and also this one, digital marketing course online, and also this one, social media marketing course. So the keywords where the price is more than 200, for those keywords, my ad will not come onto the first page. For rest of the keywords, my ad will come. So how will you decide the maximum budget? By doing keyword analysis, checking all your keywords, and what is the highest bid amount? Don't take lowest price because still your quality score is not 10. Right now, your quality score is low. That is why you must depend on budget only. As we start showing our ad in the first position or in the first page, we'll start getting clicks. And as clicks improve, you are going to get less budget for your ads because your quality score improves. And though you have given 275 as your price google will not directly cut 275 from your account if you remember it will calculate the actual cpc how add rank of your below competitor divided by your quality score plus 0 0.01 so as ctr improves and as your quality score improves you will not spend 275 rupees anyways you will be spending less budget than that only but to make sure the ad runs you have to give this price that is how you will understand the maximum bid amount. Manusha, is it clear? Uh, yes, ma'am. Right. So that's what I have given you on the screenshots. Reference. Get into tools and settings. Go to planning. Under planning, you'll have keyword planner. Enter the keyword planner. Go for discover new keywords. Add your keywords that you have decided. I have just randomly given one keyword by doing. Don't give like that. You must do keyword analysis properly. Then you will find the right keywords. Get the results. Download it in CSV format. This is the sheet you will get. Delete all unwanted columns. Now have only five of them. That is keyword, average monthly search, competition, top of the page bid low range, top of the page bid high range. So for every keyword, you will get to know what is the least price spent and what is the highest price spent. After you decide your keywords, see what is the highest value of the 
keyword price and give above it. Give your CPC as above that. For example, in this screen, highest is 131.93. So how much should I bid? 132. And my ad will work for all the keywords. Here. That's about finding actual, I mean, uh, maximum CPC. Then comes keyword finalization. Once you have this list of keywords, decide how you are writing those keywords. Are you going to write them in broad match? Or are you going to write them in phrase match? Or are you going to write them in exact match? And are there any negative keywords for your business? Identify them and start creating your campaign. How to create a campaign? First of all, before knowing how to create a campaign, let us see where we will see the search ads. Search ads will be seen on a CRP page. You can have something called ad, which defines that it is a search ad. Let us go to a CRP page. I have been searching for this all the time. No ads in Hyderabad. I'm searching in Bangalore now. So we have got one, two, three, four ads on the top. One, two, three ads in the bottom. Full fledged. All seven ads are running. So you can have four ads on the top and three ads in the bottom. Benefits here are such campaigns can get you sales, leads, traffic. You can either target for sales. You want people to come to your website and do some business. It is done. Or you want leads. You want people to come to your website and fill up form. It can be done. Or if you are looking only for traffic also, you can do it. If they click on your ad, they can visit your website. One person visiting your website is one traffic. So you can improve the traffic also. You can target on website traffic or leads or sales. These are the objectives possible. It is very relevant targeting because here you are not searching for customer. Customer is searching for you. You are not targeting customer. Customer is searching for your business and he is typing the keyword. So target people actively searching for your specific product or service. That is why conversion of business is high in such ads. Setup is very easy. You don't need any creatives. No need of any images. No need of any videos. No need of any designing. No need of taking help of any other designers or any creative people. Simply writing content and uploading. So it is very easy and you do not require any special effects or assets. Then comes creation. We will get into the account. I will show you there. Then we will come back to the presentation. I am on my Google Ads account. This is the dashboard. When you want to create a new campaign, this is the option, new campaign. For me, I'm getting it because I already have some campaigns which I passed, uh, created in the past. For you, nothing will be there. So you will have this here. A small block will be there, create campaign. Wherever it is, search for it and click on create new campaign. Right. And what are the objectives that are available for search ads? Sales, leads, website traffic. For these three objectives, you can create such campaign. You look at this, you don't have such campaign. It is only for video ads. You look at this, only video ad and display ad. Only for this top three, that is sales, leads and website traffic, you can create search ads. So I'm getting into website traffic. I want to improve the traffic of my website. So what is the ad type? Search ad. Select search ad. It will ask you to create, I mean, give your website URL. You can proceed without giving website URL also. But if you give website URL, from your website, it will give you suggestions. What can be keywords? What can be headlines? What can be description? All these suggestions, it will give you from the website URL that you are giving. I'm not giving any website URL here. Let me continue. Give a name for the campaign. Usually, what did I tell you? Campaign level must be location and service. Right? Here, just for sample, I'm putting it up as sample 5 p.m. batch. Because this is for my convenience. I need to understand for whom I created. 
you don't create like this you will give campaign names properly so that you can identify what is it give a name for the campaign continue it is saying that you earlier created some campaigns which are in drafts do you want to continue not necessary let me start new so the first thing you will get is bidding there are 10 different bidding strategies in google ads we will have a separate session to talk about all bidding strategies in detail right now understand that because we are looking for website traffic we are being suggested to take clicks because we want users to click on our ad and come to website so we are taking clicks and give <coughs> maximum cpc how will we give maximum cpc keyword planner so from keyword planner we will take what is the highest bid amount and that amount you are going to give here so that your ad will work for all the keywords for example let us say my maximum cpc is 100 next it is asking along with serp page do you want to show your ad in other places like search network and display network what do you mean by Google Display Network? YouTube. YouTube or any other blogs or websites which are publishers. So such ads in those places might not give you great results. Display ads can give you results in that places, but such ads might not grab the attention of users. So I prefer to unselect this. Not necessary. Better to target only on SERP page. Continue. Location targeting options. Let us see what are all the available location targeting options. Observe carefully. All countries and territories you can target or only India or any specific location. Let us say I want to target Telangana. Can you see here target exclude nearby? If you click on target, you are targeting people who are in Telangana. If you click on exclude, your ad will not run in Telangana. You are excluding that location. If you click on nearby, surrounding places, neighboring places of Telangana will be targeted. Understand the difference. So now I want to show my ad for all the people in Telangana. What should I select? Target. Let me just type something else. Hyderabad. So I am targeting only Hyderabad. Right. Now, there is something called advanced search. Let us get into it. When I typed uh, Hyderabad, I expected that my ad will work in all the places of Hyderabad, isn't it? That's what you expect. Now, look at the map here. My ad is not going to work in Tarnaka. My ad is not going to work in Malkajgiri. My ad is not working in any other part of Secunderabad because geographically that is not Hyderabad. Okay. So sometimes by giving names, you might not target the right area. So instead of giving name, I have one more option. What is that? Let me unselect this. Go for radius. Go for radius. And here you will have either miles or kilometers targeting option. I can take miles or kilometers. For example, I take kilometers. So 15 kilometers, I can take from 1 to 500. Remember this. I can take from 1 to 500. So I'm taking 15 kilometers in and around Hyderabad. Now I'm covering almost Usually, uh, Hyderabad, Nampali is taken as a center. Taking that as center, it will cover 15 kilometers radius. And that 15 kilometers around Nampali is being covered now. For example, if I want to target more, you have this edit button here for the selected place. Click on this edit button and change. Let us say I make it 25 kilometers. Save. My area expands. So I am targeting 25 kilometers around Hyderabad. So this is radius option. So I, either I can select locations with names or I can select location with radius. This is one option. Let me delete this. 
Now I have one more option. Let us say I want to run my ad exactly in Amirpet around my institute address. Then I have something called pin mode. Okay. And mark the pin on your location. Let me search for Amirpet Trust. So I'm here in Amirpet. And let me search for my location. Let me delete this so that it will be easy for me. I just searched for Amir Pet first. Scroll down. This is Amir Pet. See the details. Maitri Vanam. SAP Street, Satyam Theatre Road. SAP Street, Street is the beside street, the lane below, uh, beside our lane. So here is my institute probably, just. So 15 kilometers around this particular point. So I can use my pin mode here, target. Right? Let us say I want to edit it. I don't want 15 kilometers. I want only one kilometer around my location. Done. So I'm targeting one kilometer around my business. Let us say you'll get a projects like local businesses, spa, salon, school, etc. They don't want to run their ad in overall Hyderabad, overall AP, Telangana, I said, I will. So you, they'll ask you to run the ads in their location. In that case, this is the option, pin mode. You will choose the address pin on the map and surrounding that locality, you can target. Got it, ma? That is about pin mode. Let me delete it. These are all the options. Now let us say I am targeting entire Hyderabad. And I want to exclude any one locality. How do I exclude a locality? Search for a locality. For example, I'm searching for Madhapur. Sometimes some locations will not be there with names. If you take street names or very small areas, you will get pin code. So you should know the pin code. Search in Google first and confirm. So 5,81 is a Madhapur pin code. I am excluding that area. So what happens now? My ad is working in such a way. My ad works in entire Hyderabad, but it will not work in Madhapur. That is how we can either target or exclude. These are all the location targeting options. And this applies for all type of campaigns. Such campaigns, display campaigns, video campaigns, shopping ads, wherever you are doing, location targeting options are same. So I'm not going to repeat this again and again for all campaigns. Please remember these things, how to target location. Got it? I'm unchecking this. So I'm targeting Telangana. Only Hyderabad I'm targeting right now and see the reach, 32 million probably. So this is location targeting and if you click on this, there will be something called location option. By default, it will be always first and first. Don't select anything else. Let me just explain you what is the meaning of it. The second one says people in or regularly in your targeted locations, that means what I have selected Hyderabad is my target option. People who are living in Hyderabad or people who will travel to Hyderabad regularly, for them my ad should be visible. If I, if I select the second one. And the third one is search interest. That means though the person is living somewhere else, if he is searching about Hyderabad, for him my ad should be shown. If I select the first option, both will be covered presence or interest. So people in my locality or regularly in or traveling in my locality or people who are showing interest in my locality. For everyone, my ad will be shown. By default, that is selected. Keep it as it is. Don't change. Next, you have exclude and exclude also. When you are selecting any particular location as exclude option, all the people who are living in that area will be excluded. Don't change it. That's about location options. Languages, always keep it English. Don't change language. Audience segment, we will discuss in display ads. 
audience segment is not required in search ads because here we are not searching for audience audience are searching for us with the keywords so audience segment i will talk about it in display ads dynamic search ads please don't get into it it is automatic ads what do you mean by automatic ads if you give your website google will automatically create ad from your content i'll show you one small example for example let me open my website danita digital this is my company website and if you scroll inside some data will be there content is there as a part of our data and content we wrote that we worked for all these type of companies we did digital marketing for all these industries so i have written movie promotions fencing wire company web services company etc now what google can do google can make an ad like best voice service company we are not a web service company but ad will be automatically created with the content which is present in the website so never go for dynamic ads dynamic ads get automated search targeting and headlines so headlines description everything will be picked up from the content of your website and that might not be suitable all the times have the control with you you write your headlines and you write your descriptions then you can do it correctly so more settings ad rotation always prefer best ads as a first priority do you remember uh, account structure google ads account structure how many campaigns can you create in one account 10000 campaign 10000 under each campaign how many ad groups 20000 ad groups under each ad group how many ads 300 ads so in this campaign also now i can make 300 ads randomly google will show any ad to the user what we are saying we are asking google to show best performing ad many times we are asking it to prefer the best what is the best performing ad that that will get more clicks that that will get more clicks will be the best performing ad so we are asking google to show our best performing ad maximum number of times so it is by default always like this don't change it other options will be do not optimize that means rotate ads indefinitely if you rotate ad indefinitely not only best performing ad any ad can be shown that might not give you best results so always keep it prefer best performing ads by default it will be like that let it be like that next you have start date and end date of the campaign very very important don't leave the campaign without end date let us say you added a credit card and let us say funds are available in it as long as money is there ads keep on running so define the end date correctly so that the campaign can stop and also if you want to see some results run the campaign for at least a week or two simply for one day if you run ads for one day one hour results won't be there first your ctr should improve so run the campaign for at least a week or two so that there can be some results here is how you will give your start date and date start date let me give it tomorrow so september 15 start date and end date is september 29th i have given two weeks campaign next is schedule at what time my ad should run if i keep it all day my ad will run 24 hours whenever the user is searching at whatever time my ad will be displayed i can keep a uh, check on that for example i want my ad to run on mondays morning 9 to 5 on tuesdays morning 9 to 6 on weekends i want to run only in the evening if i have such requirements then i can schedule it here see here all days monday to friday only weekend saturday sunday specific days monday tuesday wednesday thursday etc so let us say i want to run my ad on weekdays morning 9 o'clock it the clock is 24 hour format the clock is 24 hour format for example i want to run the campaign from 9 am in the morning to 5 pm in the evening what will be 5 
so my ad runs from morning 9 to evening 5 that is monday to friday let us say i want to run my campaign on weekends only in the night let us say 7 to 9 in the evening 7 will be 19 9 will be 21 So two hours in the evening on weekends. Like that, I can create a schedule. So you can add many more schedules if you want. If you don't add any schedules, what happens? Your ads will run all day. Understood the meaning of scheduling? No, sir. This campaign URL options is not for us, not required for you. It will be used by agencies. Let us say if, uh, if any company is giving the work to multiple agencies, they'll set up URL options from which agency I'm getting more results. They'll do the tracking. This is not for us. Next section, add group level. So we are done with campaign level. That is campaign settings are done. What did we do here? A quick recap. Clicks, maximum CPC. And the next section we had we say unselected this to make sure that your ad runs only on SCRP. Then what did I do? So slow. Location targeting options. We have seen normal search. We have got into advanced search. We have seen radius based search and pin mode search. How to include the location, how to exclude the location. And then language normal, audience segment, I said we will discuss in display campaigns. Dynamic ads, never take them because they are automated ads. You should have the control with you, so don't select that. We have given start date and end date. We have chosen best performing ad to be given more priority. Ad is running all day. So these are all campaign settings. In the next level, we have got ad group. If you want, you can give a name for your ad group. Okay, right now I'm not giving, but you people give names for ad groups also. And then keywords. This is the place where you are adding your keywords. Now, if you take this, that is, you are asking Google to give suggestions. You will give your website URL and Google will pick up the keywords from your website and it will give you suggestions. Please don't take that. As I told you, Google will pick up any sentence from your website. That might not be helpful for you. So, enter your keywords manually. Okay. For example, I have made a keyword planner here, right? So, I have some keywords with me already. So, let me take those keywords. I have entered all my keywords here. Now I can decide what type of keyword this should be. If I don't write anything, if I directly put it like this, they all become broad match keywords. Okay. Now, let me make this phrase match. How do I make it phrase match? Add quotation. Now this becomes phrase match. Digital marketing course in phrase match. Even if the user types something before it or something after it, my ad will work for him. Suppose someone types best digital marketing course in Hyderabad, my ad will work. Right. Let us say digital marketing course online. I want it to be exact match. If someone is typing digital marketing course online, then only my ad should be visible to them. So like that, I can give my keywords. Randomly, I have given two keywords. Let me delete rest of them. It's so slow. Man. Never give only two keywords. Just for example, I'm showing you because every keyword now I'm not in a position to change all phrase match, broad match, etc. And once we are done, so this is the place where you are going to add keywords. Whether it is broad match, whether it is phrase match, or it is exact match, the same place. 
This is how you will add your keywords and then comes ad level. Here you are going to design your ad and this is how the users are going to see the preview. This is a mobile preview and this is the desktop preview. Okay. What is final URL? If the user clicks on the ad, where should he go? So that will be your website, right? So I have given my website URL. See a small yellow color uh, triangle coming up. If you hover it, you will understand. It is asking for HTTPS. It is not a red warning. If there is a red warning, your ad will not run. An yellow warning is a normal warning, which is not preventing the ad to work. Ad will work, but it is a warning. It is asking to go for secure server. Probably in future, they might make it compulsory also. Right now, though, it is not compulsory. Then display path. See my user, uh, my URL, digital marketing faculty dot in slash offer slash register. Actually, there is no such page in my website. In my website, there is no such page called offer or register. I have just created this as a display path to show to the user. So to get the attention of the users. Again, just because you want to get the attention, don't give fake information here. Okay, 10% off, 20% off, no. Give normal information which will grab the attention of users. So this is called display path and it will show in the URL. So now if you look at the ads here, let us go to the top first. They're all home pages. They did not use any display path. They have just used their normal home page, the domain. Here also only domain, only domain, only domain. Fine. No one has used any display path. That is your choice. All right. And after that, headlines. Depending on the keywords that I have given, I have entered some keywords here, right? So depending on the keywords, it is giving me some headlines. Okay. You can take more ideas also if you want. It will give you some more suggestions. Or you can take the keywords from your list. And you can use them as your headlines. Actually, you should use your keywords as your headlines to make sure that it matches with the ad relevancy. If you remember ad relevancy, I told you, use your keywords in headlines and description. So I'm using my keywords here. Guys, you have to have only 30 characters. Okay. Each headline must have only 30 characters. I have given two. Minimum three headlines are required. Remember this. But still, repeat. Use different combinations because every time same headline will not be shown to the user. Google will show headlines randomly. Minimum three headlines has to be given, ma. Alayen le dhamma chaptan chunan. Mundu vinandi. Online. Biggest problem I feel is the character length. Anyways, so if you see three are compulsory, after that you can add many more. Let me show you how many you can add. You keep on adding. It will take up to 25 or 30. So many headlines you can give. 
Let us go to the bottom and see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen are the current status. So it keeps on changing. That is why every time I'll count. Whenever there is a class, I'll count. They keep on changing it. So how many ever you give, Google is going to show. See the preview here. Two will be shown to the user on mobile. Randomly, I have given three. Out of them, it will be changing. Just wait here for a minute. Online digital marketing course. So it keeps on changing randomly. For example, if I have given 10 different headlines, any two it will pick up and it will show to the users. Let us say there is some keyword which is compulsory for me to be on the headline. I can pin it. How to pin it? Just observe here. We'll have a pin option. Let us say digital marketing course is something that I always want to be there on the headline. Then pin it. To which position? Either on to the first position or second position or third position. I'll keep it on the first position. So all the time in this first place, digital marketing course only will be there. And the next place, it keeps on changing. Sometimes one will be visible. Sometimes two will be visible. Two or three headlines, it will keep on showing randomly. First one will not change because I have pinned it. Same applies for desktop version and mobile version. Got it, ma? This is how you can write your headline. See here, sometimes three are coming, sometimes two are coming. First one is always digital marketing course. That's about preview and headlines. Next, moving on to descriptions. Minimum two descriptions are required. You can add up to four. Out of them, it will show any two. If you add only two, only those two will be shown. How should you write your description? Using your keywords. To maintain ad relevancy, use your keywords. We have 90 character limit. So I have given some content here. Two is mandatory. You can add up to four. Similarly, you can pin the descriptions also. If you want any one description to be standardly shown to the user, you can pin the description. For example, I'm pinning this. Where can I pin it? Either in the first position or second position. I'm pinning it on the first. See the preview now? This is URL, this is headline, and this is description. And the first line will not change. It will keep as it is because I have pinned it. The next line keeps changing if I add more head, uh, descriptions. Right now I have what added only two, so only two will be there. If I add three and four, any one will be shown in the second place. Same applies in the desktop version also. Got it? This is how you will design your ad and once you are ready, we are done with adding headline, we are done with adding description. I can add more description, no need of URL options now. Because final URL we have already given here. And as I told you, this conversion is for agencies. If they are giving for multiple agencies, they'll do tracking with the help of templates. So that is not for us. We are done actually. If I click on done now, my ad is ready to go live and I need to add the billing details. In such ads, there are additional options called extensions. Let me show you the ads here. Let us go to the Google Ads page. This is normal ad. Can you see here? An extension is there which is giving a location. If I click on that, I'll go to the map of the particular company. I have some clickable links. These are all extensions. Actually, we have seen how to create URL, how to create headline, how to create description, but we don't know how to create extensions now. That is what you have to learn now. And you see here, there are also some extensions which are clickable. In this also, 
okay there is nothing here there is actually an internal extension which is called structured snippet i'll tell you in the bottom also if you see here you have some clickable links here also some clickable links can you see a form has been given here this is lead form extension so like this we have 10 different extensions which we are going to discuss in next class let me go to the google ads account once so if you want to create extensions click on next and in the next screen it will give you the list of extensions site link call out call extension app extension structured snippet lead form price extension promotion extension like that we have multiple extensions which we will discuss tomorrow so far you have understood how to create the campaign how to give a name for the campaign bidding amount bidding strategy location selection campaign start date end date then scheduling and we have seen how to add keywords how to write the url how to give the headline and how to give the description in tomorrow's class we shall see extensions a quick recap we'll go to campaign objectives these three objectives are available sales leads and website traffic so where is budget budget is not there yeah it is changed actually in the next screen it is available after extensions it is taking budget so it it was in the past that we had budget in the beginning see the structure in the past this screenshot is taken in the month of may or june i don't remember somewhere in the month of may this was the structure as i told you options keep on changing so budget is there in the ending we will discuss after extensions we have seen bidding we have seen campaign selection maximum cpc optimization i asked you to uncheck this two location targeting options advanced search you have seen targeting on radius basis targeting on pin mode and then how to exclude any location we have checked language don't change no need of audience segment and dynamic ads start date end date and then we have ad scheduling specific days times and all ad group level give keywords here don't go for website suggestions give keywords manually from your keyword planner you can give broad match phrase match and exact match everything here itself in the same block how many keywords you can add Ten thousand keywords for every three hundred ads, you can add up to ten thousand keywords if you remember, right? And then ad creation, we have seen final URL, display path, headlines, descriptions, and tomorrow's class extensions. All right, Anusha, are you clear? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. right guys i'll see you tomorrow tomorrow we will discuss extensions and after that probably this weekend we'll close only search ads this week and next week we'll start display ads and in this weekend i want to you to create one search ad campaign and practice all extensions and show me i'll check your google ads accounts okay and as i told you on this sat of uh, uh, saturday we have a class from 9:30 to 12:30 anyways i'll remind you on friday don't worry Bye Anusha I'm closing the session bye ma'am bye ma'am